Well, 343 just confirmed we'll have more customization options within Halo Infinite for Season 2. What is that exactly? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. One of the biggest issues that has been plaguing Halo Infinite since launch is that the customization at times can be really great, but also very limiting at the same time. And 343 has stated that they're looking to improve this limitations when it comes to the customization. And well, we finally got some information on what kind of stuff we can play around with a little bit more and get a little more creative freedom with Halo Infinite's customization. So if you guys like these Halo Infinite news and informational videos, make sure to tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So one of the biggest issues with Halo Infinite's customization are these types of coatings that are kind of like a set or anything like that. If you guys see this recent one, I just came into the store, the optic coating, which I actually splurged on a little bit because I thought it looked really cool. The only issue with this coating is that it can only be this set. If I do any kind of modifications to it, it just reverts back to anything else. So you see right here, if I try to go any kind of additional stuff to the armor set, not happening. Go try to add like a little arm piece, not happening. A little side belt thing, nope, goes right back to my previous coating. So it has to be this coating with this armor set. And it looks like this is going to change with season two. The head of HCS, Tashi, talked about this saying, for those asking, updated team bundles for all partner teams are dropping season two, just like with the launch bundles. The teams continue to lead on designing them. For season two bundles, we are offering a different set of items than what was offered at launch. Meaning all of these bundles that we have right now are gonna be completely different with season two. So if there's a bundle that you kind of have in mind that you want to jump in and maybe pick up, now's the time to do it. You know, these bundles also do support these organizations as well. So it's not just going straight into 343's wallet. It's actually helping these organizations keeping the competitive scene alive within Halo Infinite. Tashi also continued on saying regarding the kits, in talking with Jerry Hook, who's the head of design at 343, the guy behind all most of the ideas of customization and progression and battle pass and stuff like that, we definitely agree that we don't want them to be as restrictive as they are today. The team is working on an elegant solution for the future and will share more when we can. Goal is to offer the uniform, but also give some freedom. So what exactly could this freedom be like when it comes to utilizing these different bits of customization? And could this ripple out throughout the rest of the customization of Halo Infinite as well? Well, I think so. So for example, like the Mark 5B armor kits that we have, right? We select on Emil. Let's uh, put this equipment on right here. And if I want to modify this though in any form or any way, yeah, it just automatically switches back. I can't even change the coding on this thing. It's very particular. Like this is a set. You can't modify it whatsoever. And I don't really see very many people utilize it, probably because of the limitations of this. Same thing kind of happens here with this Mark 7 Opti Gaming set right here, where it's like an exact kit that you can only have this way. If you try to do any form of modifications, well, it just switches off from it. So what I'm thinking what might happen is like, they mentioned they uniform, right? So I don't expect you to be able to change the armor exactly because it's definitely a very tailored look when it comes to these kits so maybe we'd be able to add on these different types of attachments like saying like a different types of chest piece or like a hand piece or maybe even add in like an armor effect or something like that because you can't even do that on these armor kits so i think it will allow a little bit more freedom and i think it's something that you could probably just add on to the kits without having to do drastic changes when it comes to season two maybe further down the line we'll have some more options that we could utilize with it but for right now i mean that's what my assumptions are that keeping the uniform look of these kits but also being able to have a little bit more personality integrated in with this which i'm all for that because these kits are a really cool idea. I just don't think they're implemented in a way where I think are very beneficial to the player since they're so restrictive because the whole idea of customization is to be feeling unique to make your character feel like you're standing out to represent yourself how you want to be looked at within the world of Halo Infinite. And these kits, while they can do that, they just seem extremely limiting where like you have to do it this specific way. If you do any other way, well then, well, you just can't have that, which, I mean, I mean, it'd be cool to kind of utilize these kits as like a base, right? To kind of be like, this is my George kit, but maybe I want to change this unshaded shoulder, which is, for some reason it's still unshaded within the game right now. Hopefully with season two, we get that updated. 
Uh, but you know, some small things like that, I think would be a really cool addition to help make your character feel more unique. So since these HCS codings are getting this feature added in with season two, I would fully expect it to happen within the rest of the customization within season two as well. Of course, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but as soon as we do get that information, I will share it with you guys here on YouTube and on Twitter as well. But it looks like 343 is listening to the community and I'm very excited about what's happening with the future guys. So if you guys want to stay updated with everything happening with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. If you're new to the channel and miss any content from recently, check out this playlist right here. I've got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.